Okay, BFAM is back in the house once again, and I, today, have a exclusive video for my Ether 9 family. Today, Richard Hart is on CNBC talking with Charles Payne. And if you don't know who Charles Payne is, please take some time out and go and research who Mr. Charles Payne is. He has a very fascinating story on how he got to where he is in life right now. Very inspiring. So go and check out Mr. Charles Payne's storyline, his, his story. Now, this is a big thing, people, because why? Basically, this is going out to millions of people on a mainstream network. Mainstream news channel, CNBC. Whether you like them or you hate them, it doesn't matter. And Mr. Richard Hart is talking to millions of people getting the word out about hex and when people go down the rabbit hole about hex guess what they're going to find out about the rabbit hole about pulse chain and guess what when they go down the rabbit hole of pulse chain guess what they're going to find out the rabbit hole about pulse x boom 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 and then guess what they're going to find out about the rabbit hole of the wallet that's going to come in the near future people we are going beyond the stratosphere we are going absolutely out of here. Woo! <laughs> anyway, let me play the video. Let me play the video. So as everyone knows, it's been a real rough period for crypto investors. And many are actually saying, though, that this turmoil is, is having something of a cathartic effect, right? In the sense that, listen, it gets rid of the poorly run coins and companies and even some bad actors. Meanwhile, the community itself has really turned into a whole bunch of individual tribes, uh, a lot of believers, of course, committed to their favorite coins. In fact, yesterday I read where a well reportedly bought 20 million uh, Shiba Inu uh, for 210 million. That would be the largest purchase in history there. I do want to bring in now Hex.com founder Richard Hart. You know, Richard, uh, you are the man behind Hex, uh, and it's been some tough sliding for you. Let me pause this a minute. Sorry, people, I've got, I've got to say something. Richard Hart looks like he's either falling asleep or... He's had some joints, or he's had some drink, or all three, <laughs> right? <laughs> Serious. Richard, 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 get back to BFAM, Ethan Iron TV, and tell me what was popping off there, because you seemed like you was nodding off, or you was all, all was, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just saying, Richard, you know it's all love, baby. You know it's all love. Like everyone else of late, uh, just tell us exactly, you know, what it is, why you created it. Well, I mean, Bitcoin's got a lot of stuff it can't do. So, you know, right now you're seeing everyone lose all their money. And I do mean all of their money uh, to people that said they would give them more coins. They tried to earn yield on their Bitcoin. They gave their keys to somebody. Yeah, that was me. That was, I was one of them people. I hold my hands up. Celsius has got my money. Celsius, Mr. Alex Mashinsky, you've got beef and money. Anyway, play. The else which is the opposite of why crypto is invented. It was invented to get rid of middlemen. So what does everyone do? They give their keys to middlemen that have a good story. They're going to give you some interest. So well, I invented something that okay. I gave for free to Bitcoin holders that let them generate yield okay. by holding their own keys without giving them to somebody else. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I, I've learned. I've learned my ways, people. I've learned. I've seen the light. I have seen the light. No more middleman for me. No more middleman for me. Straight smart contract, direct. <sighs> so I, I did some research, easy? and I want to just ask you about a couple of things because uh, mm -hmm. you've got some detractors out there. It might be a, 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 a easy way of saying it. And I saw one article in one FI, uh, one FI titled Richard Hart's ha Detractors, why don't you just say haters? You've got some haters, Richard, right? You've got some haters about detractors. Charles, you're making it sound too nice. Just be blunt. Richard, you've got some people that hate your scrawny aspect, mate, right? Simple as that, isn't it? Hex token is a brilliant scam. It says that the biggest problem mm -hmm. with Hex is that- It's a scam. It's a scam. That if you if you if you're wondering why BFAM is saying scam like that, if you go and do some research on Tone Vase, go on YouTube and type in Tone Vase. He is a old school coming uh, traditional traders guy coming out of the New York Stock Exchange. Them, them I think, and basically he, he just calls everything a scam. 
apart from Bitcoin, every coin is a scam, according to him. Anyway, I just had to bring that in there. The answers you just referred to being paid, uh, but the token doesn't generate revenue, so the only place money can come from is other investors. That would be a Ponzi sure. scheme, no matter how much you spend it. Uh, and then, no, of course, it goes on to say you're not what a Ponzi scheme is. What do you say to, to an article what a like that? Scheme is. What do you say to an article like that? Everyone, everyone misuses these words. A Ponzi scheme. Can I just pause there? It's funny. Three days ago, I've just done a video on Richard Hart talking about is Richard Hart a scam? Is Hex a scam? And now, three days later, we've got Richard Hart on CNBC. I didn't know, BFAM did not know people. I did not know this was going to happen, right? I just came across it literally in the last 20 minutes, half an hour, right? And I said, I've got, I got, to, I got to tell my family. I've got to tell my Ethan and family. Jeez. Anyway. It is a fraudulent endeavor where people are told they're going to get pay more from a business activity that doesn't really exist. It's fraudulent. And there's a middleman that pays you your rewards. The family likeness test would say that Hex is most similar to Bitcoin, where miners create money out of thin air and pay themselves their own rewards through the fruits of their own labor. And therefore, since there's no middlemen, since you mint your own coins, it cannot be a Ponzi. It can be a bubble, which is why the price drops 85% every three or four years. But then it goes on to make new all-time highs. So Bitcoin's dropped 85% three or four times now, and yet it's gone up 690 million percent. I hope, you, I hope you're paying attention to, to the words that this guy is saying, right? The markets regular, regular do 85 to 90% drops in price, people. So when is the best time to buy in? When the market, when Bitcoin or your favorite crypto does an 80 to 90 plus retracement in price. That is the most opportunist time to get into a asset that's going to make you some heinous returns and do, do, you, do you see why i am so bullish on hex because he gave the analogy of instead of you buying machines and mining bitcoin you can just buy a t-share and the t-share because it's it, it works off proof of stake Meaning everybody that stakes within the HEX network helps to hold up the network. The price keeps it running, okay? Everybody has different time frames to when they want their money or to stake their money. It's decentralized. It's worldwide. It's open to the world, to the globe, people. So this is why HEX works also because it works off proof of stake, instead of you and I buying machinery, mining machinery to mine Bitcoin and we've got to use electricity, we can just stake it. And by us staking it, the T-shares pays us more hex. Just like if you're mining Bitcoin, the miners, the mining machines pay you Satoshis pay you in Bitcoin. Same analogy, same thing, people. This is why Hex is going to go to the stratosphere. Anyway, I know, a bit long. Let me go, let me go, let me go. From a penny to $69,000. And so all, all Hex is, is Bitcoin with a proof of work change, where we pay people inflation right. to hold the price up through staking, instead of paying them to destroy the environment through SHA-256 mining. So that's all it is. It's I'm, Bitcoin I'm, with a proof of work change. I've been bringing a lot of folks on in your space because I'm trying to learn all of this. And again, when people found out you were coming on, I got a whole bunch of articles. There's another one I want to ask you about because, uh, listen, obviously you've got a pretty strong following, but uh, there was one in AZ Coin. Uh, and this is 2019. It's and it says worrisome. Hex founder Richard Hart was revealed to be a notorious scammer known as the Spam King. Again, listen. I got sued for $500 in civil court 20 years ago. And I couldn't pay for a lawyer to defend myself because in small claims court, you can't have a lawyer defend you. Okay. Very, it would have caught. Now, that, yeah, I have the button there, people. Which one of us ain't got some type of dirt in our closet? Don't go and like your closet is clean, people. Don't go and like your closet is clean. I know my closet ain't, ain't clean. I've done some crap in my time. We all have, right? Well, I'm not going to say all because I don't know all of you, right? But the majority of people 
have done some crap in their past. Now, this is 20 years ago, 500 bucks, fine. Ha, oh, really? Please, big deal, innit? Crack on. It cost me more than $500 to fly to Washington to go win the case. So where I do don't think being sued for 500 bucks in small claims court makes you a spam king. Richard, where, where do we go from here uh, uh, with respect to the overall crypto space, Bitcoin, and Hex itself? I called, I called the top on the day. Everyone else told you Bitcoin was going to 100,000. I told you it was going down to 10,000. Why? Because it drops 85% every once in a while. But people, they forget that that happens. They always think that this time's different. Nope, this time's not different. Are people paying million dollars for JPEGs or more accurately, serial numbers loosely related to JPEGs, which may or may not still be hosted on the internet? Yes, they are. As long as people are doing that, you have to have a crash. The reality will not but, let the idiots but, that buy JPEGs for million dollars for, survive. For Hex, right? I understand you control like 80, 88%. Oh, no, Hex. People want to know as they're getting in, or you're not getting out. The best time, oh, the origin address has never sold a single Hex. Vitalik dumps Ethereum on your head all the time. The Ethereum Foundation dumps Ethereum on your head all the time. Chainlink founder dumps Chainlink on your head all the time. The, the origin address in Hex has never sold a single coin, ever. If you want to know who's dumping, just go look. It's all on chain. All of Hex's trading is on chain. Unlike that crap that you see, the fake volume and fake exchange trading you see for all the other coins. All of our stuff's on, on chain. You can see who sold, when they bought, what other coins they like, when they're locked up for. It's, more, it's a miracle. It's the most transparent trading in the entire industry. All right. Hey, that's all the time we have. I appreciate you coming on. And I, and I do say you know, I, I get, called the top on the day, right? I, I did not know that. I did not know that. I'm waiting I for you to the call. The, I thought you were going to come on the, the show day. and call the bottom. No, that's what I'm looking for. I'll call the bottom when it's 11K. All right. And cool. then maybe we go a little deeper. Sounds See good. You, Richard, Pleasure. thank you very much. All right, folks. Of course, I want to hear from you. all. The so, people, you heard it from Mr. Richard Hart. We may go down to 11K and maybe even a bit lower. <laughs> hey, he called, he did call the top. He did call call out three hours capital. He did call out Celsius. All these middlemen taking our money and giving us some interest. <sighs> People, it's time to make some changes. Right? If you got any money on centralized places that you don't need to be having your money there, if it's money that you need, make sure you take it off and put it in a decentralized place where you're still getting paid some sort of yield some passive income on your money whether it's hex Aave, carver there's a few out there people right please please you, you don't want to be end up in a situation where you need that money and one of these fake crypto or yeah yeah c5 platforms should i say right c5 platforms take your money and don't give it back to you you don't want to be in that situation especially if, as i said if you need it if it's if if it's a small amount of your portfolio then cool no problem you know crack on All right so that was a very interesting interview very short you know but hey it is what it is is getting the info out there and you heard it from mr richard hart's mouth you know so um Hey, I mean, what's, what's, what's going on in crypto right now? I mean, let's have a look at the prices, people. Let's have a quick look at the prices before I shoot off. Bitcoin at 20,500. Ethereum, 1188. I've got a long going on on Ethereum. I'm, I'm a bit, bit low, but, you know, I've had it for about just over a week. Just chilling, just chilling, people, you know. Not, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing no day trading. I'm just, just kind of swing trading if that's the right term yeah 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 sorry yeah swing trading All right just holding on to it for you know a little while and see what it does just a small position not nothing hectic not, no degenerate style and by the way don't be very cautious in a market like this right it's risk off time right it ain't risk on when when the bull market is on and things are green every friggin day all right risk on yeah risk on right but to a, to a, you know to a certain degree but when we're in a downward trend some people call it down a uh, a bear market what you need to do is relax chill go out for a walk do something right other than crypto and also 
do some more studying into the topics that you like and be cautious with your money don't take too too many high risk plays because of the overall trend is down not unless you're short in the market or you're gaining some type of passive income somewhere then you really want to be you know um chilling and just dca in at certain intervals because we don't know the the severeness of this downward trend that we are in as richard hart said normally cryptocurrency bitcoin retraces back over you know 85 percent or around 85 percent in the past it's done that about three times um so because of the state of the economy it may go down even more so um we got to be very cautious with your money but soon as we can as soon as we sense a in the charts as soon as we sense a reversal in the trend and things are starting to reverse we see we start to see some higher lows and higher highs on the smaller time frames and then we start to see on the larger time frames then we can say hey it's time to really get that dca in on on maybe more regular intervals with bigger amounts okay so there's just different strategies that we can go by getting this crazy crazy gains people because it's going to come don't it's, it's going to come people it's going to come it's going to come and by the way before i go we've we've seen in the market in the history of cryptocurrency and bitcoin the market does on average 85 percent retracement in the price now if that continues for the next say two cycles for example once we bottom out on this cycle say for example at ten thousand, and then we do another you know run at some point and we hit over a hundred thousand say we hit in the next one 150 for example thousand dollars and then we do a no say so sorry say two hundred thousand and then we do a 80 percent retracement well that will bring back bitcoin back to like forty thousand dollars give or take at the bottom now that is something that you have to pay pay attention to because this market always gives gives us opportunities so we may miss certain cycles but we know that it's going to do a massive retracement at some point especially in these early days where it's, where, where it's the most volatile when a technology is new in its early days it's the most volatile over the decades it gets less there's less volatility so but at the beginning because it's there's more volatility that means there is more opportunity to make money and at the same time to lose money so you have to be smart with it people so um don't worry about a thing whether you 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 made money in the, the previous cycle or this cycle or sorry whether you you made money and you didn't quite hit certain targets it doesn't matter because you either make it back in between the cycles itself the the bull and the bit when when it's going down you'll either make it when it's going down or you'll make it when it's going up but as long as you the most important thing to do is just actually stay in the market and at some point you will hit whatever target that you have in your mind and more than likely if you play it right beyond that but you have to stick with the game you have to stick you, you you just have to stick stick with it and hold hold tight people as i said it's just cycles keep your head up in this in this game and you will win eventually in fact you are winning already just by being in the market itself so um I'm not going to go on too more because I could, you know, you know, BFAM could go on, right? And right now over here in London, it's kind of late. It's quarter 10 to 12 midnight. Family is sleeping, so I don't even talk too loudly. 
or the lady might bust the door open and just give me two bucks. Ba, 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 ba. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> right, anyway, before I go, make sure you go and check out sabianbooks.com and for those people that want to learn about more about the mind, the spirit, the soul, the physical you, and maybe you want to go into the topics of ancient technologies, religion, extraterrestrials, creation itself, life, it's, uh, I can go on people, right, ancient civilizations, you want, you want all that good stuff, then you need to go and check out sabianbooks.com, one dollar per month people, twelve dollars, one dollar, one off payment, twelve bucks, and you're going to get access to so many books it's gonna it's so it's gonna blow your mind away blow your mind away on so many different topics and as we deal with only facts on this channel trust me these books are pure undiluted facts that you can go and do your own research you know the saying don't believe b fam go and check it out in fact don't believe anybody go and check them all out people go and check them all out anyway make sure you subscribe please i need some more subs come on <laughs> 350 subs come on i need some thousands man so we can get the word out there people come on man come on push it <laughs> come on ethers ether nine people come on come on come on come on come on come on my fellow ethereans P come on get me up to a thousand subs two thousand three thousand five ten twenty come on come on come on push 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 we gotta get this good info out there so people know where to go to make this crazy heinous money in crypto because ether nine tv is the one that gives you the real deal Holyfield anyway as I said share it if you care click a like click a, click a dislike whatever leave a comment in the comment box please so it all 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 of these movements helps with the algorithm so the algorithm will say yo that ether line tv yeah people are sharing it it's trending etc 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 so the algorithm will help with the task people apparently i haven't researched it but apparently people apparently right i haven't gone that deep but apparently that's what happens anyway i hope you enjoyed the video peace and love i'm gone